Both teams miss out on Yamamoto. They both clearly wanted him. There's no getting around that. So, Anthony, bigger miss for the Yankees or for the Mets? To me, it's a, it's a huge miss for both teams, J.J., but I think the Mets uh, are the bigger miss here because he was their prime target this offseason, the one guy at the top of the market that they made a priority and made an enormous offer to. Obviously, $325 million is an incredible offer that they made, and, you know, it, it sound, seems like he was always going to be a Dodger and, and that sort of thing. So the, mate, the Mets made the effort. It didn't work out, but now I don't see them sort of pivoting to the other top-of-the-market arms, even though they have such a need in their rotation. I feel like the Yankees guys can make a splashy move and will make a splashy move that will at least change the optics of them missing out on Yamamoto. So I feel like the miss here is bigger for the Mets. Yeah, I agree with you, Anthony. And uh, look, I mean, the Mets, have, uh, the Yankees have already made a splashy move in getting Juan Soto. So uh, they're, I always got the sense that while they really were interested in Yamamoto, Brian Cashman, of course, flew over to Japan Japan in September, watch him uh, in the front row and first person. The Yankees were all in on Yamamoto. They really wanted him. I never got the sense that they absolutely had to have him, and I feel like that's what we saw with the Mets in, in that Steve Cohen absolutely had to have this guy, and they weren't able to pry him away from the Dodgers. But I tell you what, guys, I mean, as soon as we found out about Shohei Otani and this kind of strange contract, the way that was structured, it always just felt like this was destined to happen, that he was going to go to the Dodgers. It just felt like it lined up too perfectly. Well, we're going to have a thought on that momentarily. But, fellas, when it comes to the Yankees, they had to get Juan Soto. Yamamoto would have been a great addition, would have loved them under the holiday tree. There are pivot moves I think they can make within their starting rotation. All right, let's make the call to the bullpen. We'll welcome in our buddy, the GM, Jim Duquette. And speaking of Shohei Otani, Jim, that contract and the deferred money game changer. So with the way that all went down with the Dodgers, did that kind of like pave the way for them to become the clear cut favorites for Yamamoto? I, I think that was a big part of it, uh, JJ. I really do. You know, I think others have talked about that too. Brian did mention it. You know, when you look at it, that's a huge savings on the luxury tax for them. $25 million. Now they're still going to get taxed at a high rate. I think it's going to be over 60% uh, for most of the money that's allocated from Yamamoto onto the Dodgers payroll this year. But it could have been a lot worse if Otani hadn't been willing to defer all that money. I think that's the first thing. The second thing, when you kind of break down how the negotiation went, you think the Mets you knew were going to be the highest bidder. The fact that they didn't go back for another uh, you know, bite, let's say, the apple to try to push that money up on the Dodgers, for me, told me that that's where they wanted to go versus try to extract every last dollar and end up going to the Mets. Because that was a clear option for him, be a Met, be, be, make more money, uh, or end up with a really, really good team. I also think the last thing is, when you imagine sales pitch, you're a 25-year-old, you're going to be making an enormous amount of money, the most that any starting pitcher has ever made in the major leagues. And you get to play with the best player in the world and Otani and you have Mookie Betts and you have Freddie Freeman and all those guys are in the same room convincing him or trying to convince him to come to Dodger Stadium, which in itself is a whole sales tool. Like, I, it would have been hard for any one of us to turn down the Dodgers sales pitch, I think. 